we'll be working with this beautiful African print. I have four yaks of this beautiful African print. So that's what I'll be working with for this beautiful tutorial. So, the first thing I did was to fold my fabric into two. Alright, so this is my fabric on a fold of two. I'll go ahead and mark the full length of my jumpsuit minus my half length. Okay, so now I'll be placing my tape. Minus your half length. So my half length is 18. That means I'm working with the whole of this fabric. So now I'll adjust this so I'll be able to see it clearly. So now this is my pencil. This is where my pencil is. I will not be working with this. I'm trimming this off because of this design that is here. So now I'm going to be inserting my crotch line on my lap line. Okay? So if my crotch line is 11 inches, my crotch line is 11 inches. I'll be making use of 12 inches because this is a jumpsuit. So my crotch depth is going to be 12 inches. So if yours is 12, what you do is you just add extra one inch to what you have. So this is my crotch line. Then the next thing I'm going to be inserting is my hip line. My hip line is at 8 inches. My normal hip line is at 8 inches. Now I'm going to bring it down to 9 inches because it's going to be a jumpsuit. Alright. Then after this, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dividing my hip measurements by 4. Whatever I have, you add extra 1 inch to it. Mark it on your hip line. Go ahead and also mark it on your lap line or your crotch line. Also do the same thing to your waistline. Then connect the dots together, the points together. This is what I have. When I'm done, I'll go to my waistline, divide my waist by four, and start my measurements to it. Was my one inch. All right, this is what I have. Then I'm going to be connecting it to my hip line. So I've connected it to my hip line. Then coming to my crotch depth or my thigh or my lap, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure around my thigh, the upper part of my thigh or lap. Whatever I have, I will start it here plus one inch. So mine is. My, mine is 23 inches. When I divide it by 2, I'll be having 11 and a half plus 1 inch will be giving me 12 and a half inches. So that is to enable you know, that is also to enable you know the amount of fabric to fold before you start uh, marking, making your markings on your fabrics, right? So now the next thing I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to be marking 1 inch here, one, 1 inch out here, 1 inch this way. To form a cube, then I'm going to be connecting them together. All right, so I've made a cube. This is to curve my crotch area. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on this down part of my trouser. So from here now, I'm going to be dragging this down to the bottom part or the hem part of my trouser. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm trying to shape my trouser. Now it depends on you how wide you want the leg of your trouser to be or the your jumpsuit to be. I always want mine to be fitted and moderate. So I want to go down with my markings. So, this is what I have. Then, cut out the back. What I did was, I placed, I folded my fabric into two again. 
placed my front piece on top of my new folded fabric all right now i'll go ahead and add two two inches to this area to the center of it so this area i'm going to be adding extra two two inches to it So I'm going to attach my two inches there. I also do the same to this, to this other side. I also attach my two two inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is I also mark one inch in this way, one inch up to form a Q and curve my my cut to depth. Alright, so I'll go ahead and cut it out now. So that's all for our back. The difference between our back and our front, our back is two inches bigger than our front. of my dress of my jumpsuit i'll go ahead and mark this is where my half length is 18 inches all right now how i'm going to be using minus five inches because it's an off shoulder dress so i'm offing five inches so from minus five to 18 that is how long the upper part is going to be so this is where my off shoulder my top is starting from then at nine inches is my chest line all right so now the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is i'm going to be marking my bust measurement on my chest line so i have 10 and a half inches okay then coming to where my off shoulder is going to start from how wide do you want your neck to be? So I'll be working with 5 inches. That's how wide I want my neck. So 
to do. So from these five inches, I'm not going to connect it tomorrow. I'll connect it to my bust measurement. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to be marking here is my waist measurement. I went ahead and inserted my waist measurement. So I have nine inches for my waist. I went ahead and inserted it. Then I'll connect from my chest line or my bust measurement to my waist. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to be using this to cut out my back. Now our back is going to be having a zip. So I'll fold my fabric into two of them. I'm going to place my... So now the next thing I did was to place my front piece on another folded fabric into two to cut out my back. Now I didn't place it at the center. I left two inches or one and a half inches spacing. This I'll be leaving one and a half. One and a half I'm leaving is for my zip allowance. Okay. It's provision for my zip. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to be doing now is to shape my neck area. All right, so looking closely at the picture, you see that the neck has a sweetheart neck. So, what I'm going to do is from this top part now, I'm going to be making a sweetheart curve. This is for my front piece, not for the back piece, please. So, I'll go ahead and do it a cut. Then for my back piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be marking one and a half inches down, alright, to cover out my neck area. Alright, so this is what I did. This is for my back and this is for my front. So the next thing I'm going to do now is, if you're working with a lining, you can go ahead and cut out a lining. If you're not working with a lining, you can go ahead and cut out a facing for it. So I'll be cutting out the facing for my neck area. So I'll be using this. I'll first of all cut out for my back this first. So this is what I have. So now I'm going to go ahead to the sewing machine. Alright, so this is my facing. 
I'll place it right side facing right side, right side facing right side. I'll go ahead and run a stitch on it. So I'll go ahead and run the stitch on it. The same thing I also do for my front piece. So to cut out my sleeve now, I have I'm using one inch and one yard of fabric to cut out my sleeve. So I folded two yards of fabric into two to cut out my fabric. Alright? To cut out my sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to be marking how long the length of my sleeve. So the length of my sleeve I'll be working with 30 inches. I want it to be full. And big, so it's just to cut it out. Still, yet you can decide to reduce it, but now it's going to be having an elastic. So, after attaching our elastic, it's going to shrink. So, that's why I prefer to work with 30 inches. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is my sleeve. What I want ahead to do is I'm going to be bringing my pieces, my upper pieces. So what I did is to place it on top of my sleeve and shape out or cut out the armhole area of my sleeve. All right, so. This is what I'll be having. Now, you go ahead to your sewing machine and make a casing. Hold it one, two. To make a case where your elastic band will pass through the same thing for this down part you fold it make a case where your elastic band will pass through so for my neck area now which is this area i'll be working with this ring gum to hold it down together to give me a neat finish and just like this with the front this is what i have okay so i'll be working with this ring gum then iron it down to give me a neat finish so now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting my elastic for my sleeve, alright? So now this is half inch elastic band, okay? So I'll go ahead and cut out 7 inches for my upper part of my sleeve and 8 inches for the down part of my sleeve. And I'll be working with this set pin to pass it through my casing. So now, I'll start with the up first. So this is what I have, alright? I'll go ahead and bring my the upper part of my the top part of my jumpsuit. I'll bring it. Now I'll go ahead and join this. This is the two pieces together. I'll go ahead and run a stitch on it. Okay? I also do the same thing for the back side. So the next thing I went ahead to do was to mark my shape line. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and run a stitch on the line I've marked. Two parts of my jumpsuit. Alright, so what I had to do, I went ahead to do is to place my the front piece of my back and the front piece of my front together. This is what I have. Now I'll go ahead and run a stitch on it on the side. This is close door. And I'll also pick up this area, this side, and also run a stitch on it to close it. Alright, so I'll do that here and also do it to this other leg. So now I'm done joining it. I went ahead and hemmed the bottom parts of my trouser, alright, of my drum suit. Now, what next do I do? 
I'm going to be picking the two front pieces. This is the center of my front. This is the center of my front. So I'll go ahead now and run a stitch on it. I'll run a stitch on it. It's half inch. Get it towards this end. This back side. I'll continue running a stitch on it. Get into. Then I will take a measurement from this up part to 10 inches or to 9 inches and I'll stop. That's where my zip allowance will stop, right? That's what I will go ahead and do now. So now I'm done joining my pieces together. Alright, so the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be joining the upper part of my jumpsuit to the trouser, to the trouser part of my jumpsuit, alright? So now I'll go ahead, I pin this down earlier. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick the center point of my up piece, which is here, or the center point of my trouser or my jumpsuit. So now I'm going to pin it together. So I'll go ahead and run a stitch on it. Okay. So go ahead and join your piece together. So I'll go ahead and join it together. After I'm done joining it together, the next thing I want to do is to, you know, I'm going to be inserting my zip to my jumpsuit, then I'll iron. Of course, it's ready. So do subscribe to my channel, give us a thumbs up, and share to friends. Please get me to 1,000 subscribers, please. See you in my next video. Thank you.